Hi, and welcome back to this week's Modern Day Wise Women video. I really want to talk to you today about your expectations, and I want to ask you, you know, are you setting yourself up for failure? One of the things that we struggle with growing up as children is comparing ourselves to other kids, right? It can be other kids in the class, or it can be other kids in our family, and sometimes even our parents. As we go through our teens, you know, we still struggle with this. In our early 20s, we still struggle with this. And a lot of us feel like by the time we get to our mid-20s and later, that we should sort of feel comfortable in our own skin and like we no longer need to compare ourselves to other people. But in fact, in reality, the opposite is quite true. It seems that as you get older, you do even more comparison. And a lot of the comparison is about looking at what other people have or what other people are doing or what other people are accomplishing and then seeing if you are accomplishing those same things, having those same things and doing those same things. And if you're not, well then my goodness, you're simply just not good enough. So many of us, and I'm even talking about wildly successful people, still look around, still compare ourselves to other people and feel like we're not quite doing enough or we're not quite good enough. And so what it triggers is this response where we feel like we have to add more onto our plate, where instead of doing 10 projects, we're doing 30 projects. And my goodness, if you have downtime or you have rest, well, you're simply just somebody who doesn't want a huge life who doesn't want the success as bad as someone else. You can see how detrimental this is to the human self to be constantly not feeling good enough and so constantly burning out, overworking and doing way too much. When we do this, the impact is self-care goes right down the drain. You want to know why so many of us are struggling with our weight or why so many of us are struggling with anxiety or depression and other forms of mental illness is not because there is fundamentally something wrong with us. And while yes, chemical imbalances are sometimes a contributing factor, a lot of the time it's the emotional stress. It is the unprocessed feelings of not being good enough that is saturating our life, causing us to act and react in ways that are not fully in alignment with who we really are, who we really want to be, essentially. Here's something I'm gonna ask you to do for yourself after watching this video or even during this video. I want you to take a look at what your day looks like. Is your day completely ram-packed where you simply don't have enough time for self-care? Now here's the tricky thing. Not everybody has a desk job. So sometimes you are doing something that doesn't necessarily look like work, but it in fact is work. And you need to count that time as work. So again, when you're doing this review, I want you to really check out how much time for yourself, and I'm talking about real self-care, pampering, so maybe that's getting a massage, maybe that's taking a hot bath, maybe that's um, eating really, really good foods, or doing something pleasurable and something that allows you to express yourself. How much time in your day do you have for that? A lot of us have minimal time or no time at all. I, in fact, there are many clients that I work with who tell me that they don't even have time to meditate for 10 minutes every day. Now, if this is you, what I assert is that you likely have bitten off too much or you simply don't know how to delegate or you're in a state of not feeling good enough and so you have filled your day timer, your agenda, your weeks, your months, your year, with tons of activities that leave you no room for yourself. 
Here's the thing. The impact of this is you may eventually, if you continue to work at this pace and work in this way, become successful. But all the success in the world will not change the fact that on the inside, you will feel empty. You will feel like something is still missing. And it is because yourself was not involved or not a big enough part in your process. Alternatively, some people don't even acquire the success that they want. Instead, they just continue to struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle, never getting ahead because they don't realize that, well, nothing works when we're not true to ourselves. You will continue to stay in the same lesson until you actually deal with the root issue, which is self-love and self-care. You guys, all of us do this. I don't care who you are, and I don't care how much success you have. It is a perfectly human and natural thing to be constantly looking at what someone else is doing to grade or measure ourselves or see where we're at. The important thing though is that you understand that you are not like anyone else. What I recommend is that you sit down with yourself either on a daily or a weekly basis and you ask yourself, how do I feel right now? If how you feel is not consistent with how you truly want to feel, then it's important that you look at your day, your week, your month, your quarter and your year, determine, are you actually doing the things that matter to you? Are you actually doing the things that are important? Are you actually living in alignment with the highest version of yourself? If the answer is no, there's no need to beat yourself up. It's an opportunity for you to get yourself back on track. I promise you, that when you are doing what you truly love, what you are truly meant to do, and you are operating in alignment with your highest vibration, you won't really have this desire to compare yourself. The only person you'll want to compare yourself with is yourself. You will start to ask yourself, am I doing better than I was doing yesterday for myself, not for anyone else, and not to impress anyone else. You have the power. It is entirely up to you. You can continue to look at Facebook and Instagram and Periscope and whatever thing is out there and ask yourself, why can't I be more like that person? Or you can deal with the real issue, which is why don't I love, honor, and like this person? Y'all, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me some messages in the comments. I really love to hear what you learned, what you took away, and you know, just how you're going to do things differently so that you can be the highest version of your own self. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me there. My handle is at Modern Day Wise Woman. I'm also on Periscope using that handle too. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It makes sure that you always get notifications when my videos are posted. The Self and Love Masterclass is posted every single Tuesday, right at 12 a.m. Um, Y'all, I love you and I will see you for the next video. Oh, one more thing. The shop is up on the website, so a lot of you often say that you want like audios and stuff that you can listen to. A lot of my clients always ask me if I can create audios, like little snippets of coaching lessons or healing lessons, and those are also available on the shop. I'll make sure to post the link below. And we're having a sale this week. Um, the sale ends on October 18th, so make sure you go get the stuff while it's hot. That's all. Uh, Y'all have yourselves an amazing week, and I'll see you for the next video. Mwah.